Just let me go. Is that a knife? Is that a okay. real knife? Yes, it's a real knife. My weakness. It's small knives. Just let me go. Anything but knives! Oh, it's so simple. That was cool. Man. What the hell is this? Webbing that I developed myself. I don't think you really want to know. Come right on, now. let me go! Ah! One second, one second, one second. Stop, get off, man! No! Come on, let me go! Stop it! Dude, that isn't funny! It is Come kind on, of funny, help. man! Oof. This could have gotten a lot worse. Now hold still. <laughs> wow. Watching this scene again for the first time in years put a smile on my face. At the time, Andrew was my favorite Spider-Man, and now, I can't really say who is. To talk about the scene more, I want to talk about how beautiful it is and how extraordinary. It's really showing how a realistic Spider-Man would portray. Obviously, some things would be different and a lot more realistic to fit in the tone of our real world, but how realistic can a boy get bit by a spider be? And I think Mark Webb had a really good vision. Even though I believe that The Amazing Spider-Man is a good film, its sequel falls on so many levels. I really want to talk about the comedy aspect of the scene. Peter is clearly having fun with the robber, at the same time trying to get answers. I found that aspect to be really, really good and really entertaining. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. It means so much to me that you guys watched all the way to the end. So uh, yeah, I'm going to dip out of here. I don't know where my next video is going to be, but thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy this outro. Can I ask why you do this to me? You say you do it for me, but you do not do it for me. Talking to stuff how you found you the one. Can I ask if she's smoother than me? Do it for free. I can just do it for free, cause really you crueler than me. I wanna give you the 